or maybe not. Look at uh, this says that we were logged in. What what's going on here? Um, we we have a problem here. Let's try to replicate this with a test. So let's go to edit our spec request uh, features login pages here. And if we go back up here, we have a, a invalid account information, but all we do is we click on a login button. So we have blank username and blank password and that fails. What we have in our case that doesn't seem to be working correctly is we're entering a valid username and an invalid password and, and that breaks. So let's try to add two more tests here and, and see if our tests get the same behavior as it looked like on uh, our website. So um, let's uh, describe with um, bad password. And uh, here, what we're going to do, we need to create our uh, user so we know we have a good username. And then once we have that user, we can go ahead and uh, let's do this, fill in uh, the username with that user's name before we go ahead and click on a button it's log in. So in this case we know that's a failure when it's empty and so what we do now is we create a user and we provide that proper username but we don't give the right password. Blank is, is, is failure. We, we could do something like uh, this where we give it um, with garbage and then we uh, hope that username doesn't a uh, user doesn't have a garbage for a password and uh, what we should have is the same error right here so I'm going to cut and paste that so now what happens if we run our test we hope that this test will replicate the error that we saw in our web browser so now we run our test and we see a new failure right here. So let's find it right up here. We expected that to fail. We expected that danger message and we did not see that. So yes, we can definitely replicate it and, and that's that's good. Let's let's keep that in there. And Let's go back to our controller and, and see what's the problem. Maybe you see what the problem is. If you're an experienced developer, you've probably hit this, unfortunately, once or twice. But the problem is uh, we can find that user. And if we don't find the user, this if statement is right. But it's only wrong if, if the password's wrong. So it's this clause right here that that is causing us problems where we say user dot password equals params sub password and um, silly me I forgot to include a double equal sign right for comparison rather than assignment so if we make that change there and we go back and and run our test again now we're doing a comparison rather than an assignment and we are back down to four failures and that alert is not there. So we can go ahead and replicate that in our browser here and uh, start up our web server by typing in a known good username in and a garbage password and now we get our invalid username or password as we expected previously.